Now, some of the keys, like a space bar or the shift keys, they're so big and long that one of those little switches means that it, it like teeters back and forth. So what we use to combat that uh, are called stabilizers, or we abbreviate them as stabs. Now, uh, stabs are made up of three different pieces. And let me just show you what those three different pieces are. Okay, I'm just gonna switch over to action cam here, see if I can get that. No, there we go. Here are the three different pieces which is the part that holds it all together. We have the inside piece or the slider. We have the outside piece or the housing. Okay. They come together in a very specific order. What you do is you put this slider inside the housing, then put the wire inside of it and snap it down and you're good to go. Right? That is one part of it. But the thing that makes it a little more complicated is that we tend to tweak our sliders. We make little customizations so that they work a little bit better than what you'd think. And the way that I'm going to do that is by clipping little parts of it. So if you see here, this one has two little extrudy bits, two little tabs that point down, not just the flat bottom, but there's two little things. What those are is actually suspension. There's suspension for this, so when it hits the bottom, it lands on those first, and that provides some cushioning. But we don't want any cushioning. We want a real loud keyboard. We want it to make a big thocky noise. So what we're going to do is just clip those off. So all we're, we're still just doing the same thing. We're just customizing it a little bit to make it a little bit better. So just cropping these pieces off here. There we go. And I'm going to do that repeatedly. I'm going to do that over and over again. I'm going to do that to all of these. Again, I'm just going to remove the... Now, there's actually four cuts to make because what you want to do is make sure that the bottom is flat. So look, I'll show you here. This first cut, just like that, you see there's still this little tab that's sticking out. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's a little tab right there and you just want to slice that back to flat. Same thing on this side, you cut there and then there's that little tab that's left over. Can you see that little tab right there? I don't know if you can see that little tab right there. That little tab right, oh, let's just see if it, it'll focus. There you go. That little tab right there, we're just gonna Clip that right off until it's flat on the bottom. You see now it's all nice and flat all the way across. So it starts looking like this. Starts looking like that with those two little prongs on the bottom. And it ends looking like the one on the left. Or the one that's out. The one on the left. There. All right. So I'm just going to keep on rocking through these. Just keep on doing this. Now the next tweak that we do involves a little bit of lubricant because these metal wires uh, track along a little clipped plastic pad. So what we're going to do is just reduce the friction in there to again make it a little bit smoother. These are the advantages to making your own custom keyboard. We're just going to make a couple little tweaks to it and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we start out with what's a very uh, high grade, you know, space age lubricant. It's called uh, Crytox GPL 205. There's a link to this in the about section below or in the video description. Uh, and all you do with this, just go and then put this in the corners. Here, I'm gonna switch back to action cam to show you. Uh, all you do is just put it right in this little corner because this is where the wire is gonna go through. And you just pop a little bit in there. Pop a little bit right in here. Look at this. We 
I'm going to show you again up nice and close like this. You do these in pairs, obviously, so uh, this one, it's on the left side, we'll call it. I'm just going to move that over a little bit so it's in the right place. So this one's on the left side, so we're going to put this one on the right side. So this is going to go in here. Okay, for the next part, we're going to take the little sliders and we're going to figure out the right side for them. So the sliders actually have two sides. They have the what I call the hotel side, which is the top and the bottom, and they have the back door. See the back door? There's only one door in there. The front side, the hotel side has two floors. Okay, so we're going to put the hotel side towards the clip. That's towards the part that we lubricated. Hotel side, so the two floors towards the lubricated clip. So we're going to put that in. Then we're going to take our metal shaft and we're going to put the metal shaft. We're going to put the metal shaft in on the ground floor. Do you see that? That's the bottom one. Sometimes they're tough to push in like this, and this one is definitely one of those. There we go. You see that's on the the ground floor. There's two. There's two openings there, you see? And it's on the bottom opening. And then we're going to push this down through the lubricant like that. We're going to do it again. So you got the back door. Back door. And you got the hotel side. We're going to take the hotel side. Here, I'm just making sure that we're in focus. We're going to take the hotel side, which is this side right here. We're going to take that and put that to the front like this and we're going to enter the hotel through the ground floor you can see what it looks like underneath there sorry hoping that's going to focus i don't know if it will you can see that and you just push it in through the bottom like that oh i nearly pushed the lubricant off and then we're going to clip down through the lube just like that. Cool. Both of them should go up and down like that. And we can put it off to the side here. That is one completed stabilizer. So we'll put that over here. Move on to the next one. Again, same thing. Hotel side. There's the hotel side. You can see that, right? It's the hotel side. Because the lighting and it's a black thing difficult to tell sometimes but that's definitely the hotel side we're gonna take the hotel side put it in here take the wire go through the ground floor and then clip down through the loop just like that and do the same thing on the other side hotel side up grab this go through the door on the ground floor and then I'm just going to show you this this side so you can see it we're going to clip oh did I yeah I went too far Sorry, I'm just going to have to redo that one. Got to make sure it's still through the ground floor. They don't go in easily, but they come out easily. All right, that's in through the ground floor. And now I'm just going to clip it down. I'm just going to clip it down through the lube here. Do you see that? I'm just going to clip it down through the lube like that. Boom, we're done. All right, that's another one that's finished. Let's do it again. Okay, before we do anything else, the first thing we always need to do is put the stabilizers on the PCB for PCB mount stabilizers. 
Now, the way PCB mount stabilizers work um, is, is pretty simple. You know the keys that are big enough to need it. It's uh, the left shift, the right shift, enter, backspace, and of course the space bar. The simplest one, let's just start with the space bar. And what we're gonna remember is that on the stabilizer, here I'm gonna switch over to action cam again, on the stabilizer itself, it has two parts. It has the toe, this little thing that's sticking out. Just gonna make sure it's focusing here. It has the toe and it has a clip at the back and the clip is one of these split clips. You see that, it's got that split in it. So the split goes in the small hole and the toe goes in the big hole, which you might think is backwards, but that's definitely the way it works. So the toe goes in the big hole and the clip goes in the little hole. So you find the two holes that fit just like that, put the toe in so it's pointing through the other side of the board. And then look at this with the toe in place, the toes in place there. You can see it through the other side here. Oh, let me just show you that. You can see the toe. Look, it's through the other side with the toe in place. We're just going to clip this down. Just like that. Okay, moving on to the other one. The toe is in place, you can see it. Oh, you can just about see it right there. It's through, it's clipped in. So what we're gonna do now is just push this down through the hole. Now, some keyboards have them this, this way around. Others have the wire on the other side. Some keyboards, you know, turn them around for each different switch. This one's this way, this one's this way, this one's that. Doesn't matter as long as they fit and you've got the clips in the small hole, you're good. All right, next one I'm gonna do is the left shift. The left shift, you can see it is turned around this way because the big hole is at the bottom and the little hole is at the top. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just push those toes in and then clip them down by using my our thumbnails and clipping down at the back. It's clipped in. This one too, it's clipped in. That's it. You know that they're right because they're nice and stable, strong. Same thing again on the other side. Look at this, right shift, also with the wire down. We're just gonna push these into place. Easy peasy. The right enter is the other way around. Look, the wires go up in this one. Again, it doesn't matter which way the wire goes. It's just whatever's right for the PCB. So we're just gonna push that in there. That's in nice and strong. And then the last one is this one here. That's it. Our stabilizer wires are in place. Let's grab the plate, put the plate over top, make sure everything fits through just like that. And we're good. All right.